We're glorifying today not getting married. I read the other day that 1,500,000 couples are living together in the United States without any intention of ever getting married. And the number of those getting married is decreasing and the number of divorces is mounting until one of our great sociologists said recently at Columbia University that we may not have any homes at all by the end of this century. It may be something of the past. And sex is now treated by many like a physical appetite to be satisfied completely apart from any meaningful relationship. Just like you go out and buy a hamburger to satisfy your appetite. So you go out and have sex. That's not what God meant it to be at all. It's a holy gift from God to be used within matrimony. But there's a satanic attack on the family today. Even Christian families are feeling it. I've never heard so many stories of Christian families even having so much tension and so much difficulty. We've never had more books on the bookshelves telling us how to solve our family problems or sexual problems than we have today. And yet somehow we're more miserable, we're more broken, we're more torn, we're more hurt than we've ever been. Why? Because we have not taken the Word of God into account because God has laid down the rules and the regulations for a successful and happy home. And we've broken them. We thought we could do it some other way and we found that we failed. Let's come back to the Bible. Let's come back to the Word of God and build our homes on this book and the God that performed the first marriage.